nice and warm today, chilly in the house, but warm out here. That bodes well for the summer if it's cooler in the house than outside. Let's see. This morning, today, it's an exciting day. Look, look at these holes. This is either skunks or armadillos keep digging up these holes. These little ones, probably skunks. Gotta get a dog. Chase them all away at night. I don't want them digging up my garden when my garden is going. Vegetable garden. Speaking of vegetable gardens, look, what a mess. Speaking of vegetable gardens, today I'm going to peel back the plastic on the square one, see how it looks underneath, and if all is well, I'm going to try and plant some seeds. I'm going to plant some cabbage, some Swiss chard, some beets and some watermelons. Just in this one. These are all seem to be pretty hardy, forgiving of mistakes. So it's a good start I think. And then, and they will be followed. This is the one I'm taking up first. I'm going to take this up today. I'm going to take this up, look underneath, cover what's under there with a fine layer of loose soil, and then do the planting. And then this row will be the next one, where I'll do lettuce, and I don't know what else yet. This is where all my pipes are going to go. These pipes are all laying around. I've got to figure out how I'm going to hook these all up, and dig them in. But first, I'm going to take this off. Okay, I'm going to go get my shovel. I'm going to take it off, and I'll get back to it. Okay, this is what we got when we pulled off the top. A lot of yellow grass. And a lot of ants. And a giant ants nest it's pretty crazy look at all those this and is all running around there too yeah ants everywhere this is all dead I should have maybe dug it out a bit better before putting the top down so I'm going to have to dig this over Why don't you? before I plant that ant's nest I don't know what to do with. You can shove it out. Shovel it out maybe, yep. I think that's the best idea. I'll just shovel it over to there. Alright, this is a bunch of work. I guess that's the best thing to do. I don't know, maybe it just needs to be down longer. It's not like this is going to rot away. Maybe the tarp on the, oh, this will scrape away maybe, maybe the tarp on the long grass isn't such a great idea. Maybe it's supposed to go down on something with less organic matter already there. Don't know. Don't know. All right, let me give this a dig and then we'll see how it goes. Well, I started on that corner where the ants were. And I let them calm down a bit because I've got to get my fingers in the soil because in every centimetre of this soil underneath are these roots, like this. And you just take up like 90% of the biomass here. And it's all got to be dug out. It's just on the surface, but it means I've got to turn over all the surface of this whole area. Look at this. Uh, but it's okay. It'll be nice and some nice tilth when I'm done. It's just a yep. bunch of work. Nice and These good. ants are still swarming. I'm crazy. I've got bites on my hands. 
And they've have, gone crazy. They have gone crazy. I'm just going to have to dig them all out. But here you see all the roots. They're just everywhere. This row here that I just lightly turned over. Not even the whole row really. It's this 30 centimeters wide. Two meters, two and a half meters long. Out of that came all of that. Felix, kick those for me so we can see how much there are. A huge thing just came from the top five, yes. ten centimeters of soil from there. I mean, kudos to this plant. It's really taken over. It's just everything that's not grass over there is covered with this plant, whatever it is. I'm going to try and Google it and find out. Two things. This, which is two wheelbarrow loads, it's a lot of roots, came from that space that I just uncovered. So we've got two and a half by two and a half meters, 10 foot by 10 foot, not even, not even. It's two wheelbarrow loads came out of this little dug up space. That devil root, whatever it's called, that's an amazing plant. And I can tell it's gonna be the bane of my existence. So that's dug up. Vera's gonna bring me a rake that she's borrowing on her way back. Second thing, I just put my foot in this hole. This is a armadillo hole, hang on. They get covered up by grass and plants and stuff. It is almost to my knee. You could easily break a leg. I gotta seal that up. Uh, no dig. No dig. Here's my initial thoughts from someone who knows nothing. I think the idea, as I understand it, of no dig is that you cover it with plastic or cardboard or wood chips or whatever you have. It suppresses the growth of all the weeds and whatever that you have below it. When you're ready to plant, you uncover, you cover with a layer of compost, perhaps mulch or straw and you plant directly in. So you don't have to dig the substrate, let's call it, which is good because it leaves everything where it's supposed to be, keeps the soil healthy, stops erosion, all those good things. I think that if you're in a place like the US or Europe, it's a great idea. It makes things much easier, there's no digging. However, for someone like me, there is no garden center I can go to and order a truckload of compost or a couple of tons of mulch or any of those things. Maybe in a couple of years, when I'm generating a lot of compost, if we're still here, it's gonna be a good idea. I think it's still a good idea for me because I think it's still easier to dig out this whole area after everything's been withering for a month or so. So that was a lot of work, but I can't imagine how much worse it would have been if I hadn't had it under plastic for a month. Now I think that it's gonna work even a bit better because the stuff under plastic, as it gets warmer, it's just gonna get baked to death as well as well as stars of light and water, it's gonna get baked to death. So I'm gonna keep doing it, but it's not the path to something super easy like I'd expected. But what do I know? I have no idea what I'm doing, learning as we're going. This I'm gonna rake, get a nice smooth surface, as smooth as I can do. Uh, get rid of the last of those little bits of wooden stuff and then probably tomorrow now 
I'm gonna plant my first seeds. Woohoo! I've got watermelon, because Felix is mad for watermelon. I've got cabbage, lettuce, and a selga, uh, Swiss chard. Those are all supposed to be good for planting right now at this time of year. It's a good start. I'm going to go getting seeds as I can. Again, limited selection, limited place to go and get it. Now I'm looking at this square. It's a bit lopsided. I should have used string. Doesn't matter. So yeah, hopefully by the end of today, tomorrow lunchtime, this is going to have seeds in. And I'm going to be actively growing stuff. Woohoo. Then I move this one, this first one. It's going to be beans, I think. I gotta get poles, bean, uh, potatoes. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, see what I can get. And I moved the tarp that was on here over to there. So in a month, I'm gonna plant something, who knows what, over there. It's getting hot again. Crazy temperature swings in the middle of the continent. It's about four degrees this morning. We're going to go up to the high 20s today. What's that? 36, 37 Fahrenheit this morning, and it's going to go up into the 80s, I would imagine. It's a big swing. But it's nice. It means you get to have a fire in the morning, sunbathe in the afternoon. Mm, these are the irrigation things I started laying out last night just to have an idea. This one is going to fit perfectly over here. These ones are going to go over there. I need to play around with the watering tape, which is like these super fine, flexible hose pipes that hook up to the sturdy pipe. And that's going to go down to there. 